Trust your dog, guys. Trust your dog. You ready, guy with the pink gun? Hey guys, Kat here from Sanding Stone and I've got Hex with us for his next field session where we're actually going to be shooting birds in launchers over him. Well, shooting birds out of the launchers over him. And he has had all the prerequisites with a bird intro, gunfire intro, he's been out pointing homing pigeons, he's done a ton of retrieving drills, he's collar conditioned for recall. So we are ready for us to start shooting birds for him in the field. This guy is a very visual dog. We've noticed that through his training. He likes to watch and look and use his eyes. So it's really important for us to start helping him really use his nose, not focus on using his eyes so much and help him mark those birds and chase those birds because he's also been very steady so this is going to be a really good opportunity to put all those pieces together for him using his nose marking and retrieving so he gets to chase a little bit one of the big keys for the setup that we have is that we know exactly where the birds are because he's going to do a little bit of the run and creep and point things and if we don't know where they're at in the session which is something that we encourage everybody to know you go set your birds for you so that you know where they're at kind of triangulate your situation where you go here's this piece and here's this piece and there's that piece and this is the clump that it's in or near or something like that and we kind of have some visuals for us to remember but you that need are to know all natural visuals yep, we're natural not throwing visuals, any no survey flags. tape or anything like that out there especially for this guy that would be not good exactly but the key will be just being able to know this is where the birds are and where they're not and encourage him to be able to move only pointing where there are actually birds so that he can eventually get over it. And as he grows, if we don't encourage the, the fake pointing stuff, he'll learn the difference between what's important and what's not. So yeah. normal puppy stuff. So he's ready to go. We're gonna let him get out, start searching the field, encourage a nice search. And Ethan's gonna be my assistant, the guy with the pink gun, I'll to do my shoot best these to gun. birds for him. Absolutely. Okay, let's go. As you can see, he's already doing a better job getting out and moving and searching a little bit better than he was to begin with. See, this is not that, uh, We're is this not that, that quail close. that was flushed around just talking about how we need to know exactly where our birds are. This is not a bird, unless it's that quail <laughs> from this morning. And this is that incredible amount of natural steadiness coming in, guys. Uh, and he may be trying to use his eyes to see something, so that's increasing his steadiness. So I'm gonna just try and encourage him to move. Come on, okay, let's go check it out. Figure out what you're smelling and then let's move on. Okay, okay. Now he's focused on our camera guy. Come on, Hex, come on, come on. Boop, boop, boop. What do you see, anything? Nothing? No? Check it out, let's go. Okay, what is it? Oh, there is a quail right there. <laughs> Trust your dog, guys, trust your dog. You ready, guy, with the pink gun? Let her rip, Sally. Well, that one didn't give us an opportunity to shoot it. Well, that was a great opportunity for us to go, he knows what he's smelling, he was using his nose, not using his eyes, and trust your dog, guys. He found that quail. I tried to release him to say, hey, there's really nothing here. Leftover quail from a training session earlier this morning. Um, sometimes you train on a dirty field and you gotta work with that. So let's actually go work our first bird that we set in a launcher and see how that goes for us. Good. Come on, Hex. And he's in this, I mean, he's a long way off it, but this is the zone. This is that next bird. So this is an important thing to touch on, being that he's this steady, we can kind of do this, but um, we don't encourage dogs to move up on birds. We want him to trust his nose, learn to be cautious, respect the birds themselves. Um, you pull, yeah, swing back down around this way. Is the bird's actually way up here. Just right up here to our left, right? Yep, he's actually being super steady, so I'm allowing, him to hold that. If he would move, I need pain. to get that bird out of there. He's looking around, so I want him to be paying attention to this as I flush. Well, and that bird didn't launch super well, so it's going to give us another here, opportunity pigeon. here. Low flying pigeon. And then it just sat down up there. Yep. 
but you can see he's got a lot of watch and look and not as much chase on these. So I'm going to have to go up and release him again unless I can call him off of it, but I'm assuming he can see that bird sitting down up there and he's not going to necessarily want to come off that bird. It's really one of these things that we need these birds. We need these birds to be going down for him at this point. And this is part of training. You know, we had two birds fly the wrong directions. Hopefully this next one will get set up right so that we can actually kill a bird and complete the cycle for him. Cause this will be the first bird that we get killed for him. So Heck, let's go ahead and roll on. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm just gonna keep using that verbal cue, whoa. Stay right in there, Dustin, To yeah. condition him that whoa means stand there. He's not collar conditioned to whoa at all yet, guys. Just I'm ready. continuing to incorporate that cue. Ready now? Yeah. And it sat down, but he didn't really Go get it, it, kid. Go get it, okay. Let's go see if we can get him to fetch that one. He might be able to catch it up. Stalking it a little bit. He did see it go down and he marked it. So let's see, he wants to point it again. Okay, go get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, Hex. Okay, this buddy. This is an insane amount of pointing. Just like his grandma. Okay, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Atta boy. Good job. Good boy, good boy, Hex. Here, good. Good boy. Hex, good job. You got it, good job. Good job, shh. Good, good, okay, good. Just open his mouth and take it from him. I don't want to encourage him to drop or anything like that because I, not, I like a nice, strong, natural hold. I'm gonna just get this out of sight and out of mind in my bird bag back here and help him move on, okay, Let's to work his next bird. Can... Now if we can just make everything click, we've seen a lot of random pieces thrown out here, which we'll go over here at the end, but we're hoping that the last oh sequence here will work just right. Let's go, hunt him up. Okay, okay. There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna actually stand back by my cameraman this time out of the way so that we just have one person moving up to flush and be in the way, which is Ethan. I'm ready when you are. Here it goes. Okay, go get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna encourage him to chase. Go get it, buddy, go, 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 yeah. Have a little puppy party with him. Okay, yes, get it, get it, get it. Fetch it up, buddy, okay. Get it, yeah, get it, get it, get it. Fetch it, fetch it, fetch it. Get it, yay! Good boy. Good boy. Here, little vibrate on the collar for the recall for this retrieve. He was super proud, wanted to take it other way. Uh -uh, right here. Hex, right here. Bring it back, buddy. Good job, good job. Get a hold of his collar. Keeping his head up so he doesn't set it down or munch on it. If he starts doing some munching, I'm just going to take that bird from him. Good job, buddy. Good job, Why don't job, you go buddy. ahead and give it a good toss, and I'll just shoot, too, to kind of put these pieces together. Put these pieces together, the movement and everything all at the same time. Ready? Okay. Good boy. Build a little more chase. Take away a little more of the steadiness, because we need him on these birds and retrieving them. Good boy, right here. Good, good, no, 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 here. Good, don't blow by me. Thank you, no drive-bys, man. No drive-bys, shh. Good. Good job, good dude. Good job, good. You're steadier than some of the dogs we're running in Masters right now. So let's break this down a little bit. A lot happened, a lot happened that wasn't even expected because that first bird contact we had, 
wasn't even a bird we'd planted. It was just a leftover bird from a training session earlier, that quail. Um, trust your dog's nose. Uh, he definitely has a good one. And we were able to find, flush that bird. He was able to chase, um, get a shot off, but not recover that bird, which is completely fine. Then we were able to work on to our next bird. He has an excellent nose, as you can tell, um, but we want to help him put all the pieces together of nose, seeing it, having it shot, and making that retrieve to help him not just be so naturally steady. You're probably asking, why is natural steadiness a problem? Well, it's not necessarily a problem, but it's the tracking from his retrieving, which we've seen. I've had to be very encouraging to go get it, go get it. He loves to retrieve, but he also likes to point. Um, and in the next bird, didn't get an opportunity to really shoot. There were too many people in the way. Um, I think that one had flown towards Dustin, didn't really need to shoot our cameraman. Um, and then the same thing kind of happened with that next bird as well, kind of a safety situation where he wasn't actually able to have a bird shot right in front of him. Uh, we were able to really get him encouraged to go make that retrieve when it did set down, um, and he was able to chase that a lot. There's unpredictable things that happen, and you have to be able to adapt as you go. But still, when that bird went down, trying to keep you know, encouraging him to go get it, chase it, catch it, fetch it. Um, and then we came across the driveway to the last bird, and we were hopeful that everything would really click into place, and it did. It, it happened exactly like we'd hoped for. He pointed, it flushed, Ethan shot it, and he stood there and watched it go down. He's like, okay, I'm steady to wing shot and fall just magically, <laughs> but just because he's naturally steady. So I got him really puppied up, excited. I started chasing with him, like, let's go get it, get it, get it, so that he could encourage that retrieve. End goal being that he will point his birds nicely and then be able to go retrieve them. And it, it says that we will be able to move into steadying this work down the road with him better, but he's naturally steady. He's naturally a good retriever. Um, I think he gets a few more reps in with this and he'll be able to put all the pieces together, right? So until next time, guys, I'm Cat the Dog Trainer. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Hex. We'll, we'll see, see you in the you. next video. <laughs> there you go. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Thank you.